You're right, mates. Here we are back. Don't know why I'm doing the Australian accent again, mates, but here we back on in Pianta Village with Piantas in need. Hey, everybody, it's Region Champion 1988. Like I said, let's go because we have a three second loss because I forgot to pause the game. Ow. Same as usual. Do the Piantas. Clean them. Bada boom. It's best to do your mega squirt because you get most of it away that time, like that. Back around here. You just follow the same route I'm doing, that's where we you know, the usual ones. Quite a few people don't know where some of them are. I quite frankly know where all of them are. Most of them are down in the starter bit, but only one or two of them, you know, like the one that I just got there at the back. That's the one that most people mistake. You actually talk to them, they, they're the ones that give you, like I said, it's like, in this mission, all of the adult ones, you know, like the taller ones, they're the ones that give you blue coins. Last one is around here. And there we go. So I've done it in rough, pretty much um, maybe two minutes. Thanks, sweetums! Oh, run away! God! Oh, I didn't mean to talk to her there. I could have got a blue corn by accident. So yeah, if you talk to the adult ones, they give you blue coins. But we're not doing the blue coins until we, you know, do all the shine sprites. Then, then we're going to be doing the 100 coins. Oh, talk to the mayor. You're the saviour of Pianta Village, we're in your debt as a reward, please take this. There it's again. I don't know why, but I just get these weird frumpy sounds. I don't know, I, I don't get it. Six, so here we go. Shadow Mario runs well. After this episode, just go ahead. now. As you've seen a couple of episodes ago, um, look at Shadow Mario. He is now officially puffed. Oh, he usually is. Anyway, the little island where I got my, where I usually got my um, one up and spring fire, that goes away after. This so called, uh, this time he has fire behind him. Anyway, it goes away after the flood happens. And... Ow. It's really easy to find, you know, just if you lose them, fall on the trail of fire, do it. This time he's really tough, he doesn't stop running. Apart from when he does the end. Yeah, he's kinda of tough. Oh there we go, we're getting we're getting Yay, there we go. Ah oh, remember this! And that is your last Shadow Mario Shine. Last one. Woohoo! No more Shadow Mario missions! Yay! And after this... <laughs> there's a sign for the hover nozzle. Bottom right hand corner. Weird. This time... 
the flood. There he is on top of Delfino Plaza Shine Gate. And now we can go into Corona Mountain, but the entire island is flooded. And the only way you can fix that is to go into. Okay. Is to go into Corona Mountain and leaving. But here's a good glitch. If you try and surface underneath one of the logs. You can walk underwater and you don't have your breath meter. Look, this is proof that you're underwater. I know the best proof. You're just like, you know, you've probably just edited it to make it look like you're underwater. Well, I can tell you one thing. I'm not. Yeah, I think it's best we do it at the side. So look, we're underwater. And just proof, see look, there's the line of water above, everyone's above it, we are under it. And here's my evidence. There is fish! Right next to the Daphino Plaza statue, there is fish. Now as you may notice, you know, like, places like Rico Harbour, Bianco Hills, um, Gelato Beach, all the ones that are kind of on the ground, all the people on the fruit are gone, you can't get any of the nozzles. If you want to read under the glitch, just you know, like jump above the water and then you can just swim. So yeah, how you fix this is you go into Corona Mountain and leave. You know, you can still do and um, peanut park shut off as well. You can still go into, you know, like um, you can't go to Noki Bay either. You can still go to, you know, like Serena Beach and Pianta Village, but that's pretty much it. There's Shadow Mario. Hey, come here! Ow! What are you do? That's Corona Mountain. But what we do is, we're not doing that just yet. So, exit area. If you go into Corona Mountain and leave, then... You just come back out, everything's back to normal. You can go back to Noki Bay, you can go back to any of the other levels, Peanut Park. But another good thing is this. If you get. God, Mario. Where is it? Oh, yeah, I think they're up here. Yeah, there they are. If you get 10 coins, then, and get the last coin by spraying that. You get a coin for spraying any Shadow Mario poster. Get 10 coins, this guy will be here. Talk to him. Shall I take you to the airstrip for only 10 coins? Yep. Yeah, the 10 coins, exactly, and you see, blah 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 blah. And back to the airstrip where it is another big mission. And something really awesome is here. As you notice, it's still the Delfino Plaza music. Because it is considered to be that Delfino Plaza and the airstrip are the same map. How epic is that? So that means red coins. Whoa, spent three. Wow, I failed. No, I missed. And I missed. Wow, I'm the best. Oh my god. Hey, look at me. If those fish will take you right down to the very bottom, but since it's like only what, a couple of meters deep, then you're fine. Okay, that's it. For all the good luck we had in the past two episodes, it's giving us horrible luck now. And when 
you get 50 coins, you get another life. Boom! Easiest shine sprite in the entire game. And you can just keep going and get all of our coins. So that's 78 coins. Look, you can still go and get all these coins as well. See where I'm going with this, don't you? Get the shine sprites. So like net six coins and 84 shine sprites. When you go back to Delfino Plaza, it's the same map. You have 96 coins, which makes the 100 coin shine of Delfino Plaza red. Ridiculously easy. I mean, look, all we need is four coins. Hmm, I wonder where we will get our four coins from. Will we get it from the beach? Yes, we shall. You are actually as well getting it in the um, airstrip because it's easier to actually get the shine sprite. But in Delfino Plaza, since not very many people know where it spawns in Delfino Plaza, Get special jingle, 100 coin shine, boom, right over there, the pedestal. And when you get a hunt, every 50 coins you get, it's like um, a life you get, so. Boom, that's how you get your shine sprite. I wonder what happens if you pick up the banana. Oh, you dropped the banana. Oh well, random cut there for a second, just because I want to keep it under the time limit. Even though I know it is under the time one, I didn't know at the time, I thought it was overtimed since it doesn't show the time of recording, so. I paused it, checked it, uploaded it, cut it, blah blah blah. So now if you see that, we are now, if you click that, if you look to Delfino Plaza, 15 shines, and a shine sprite right next to it. Two of Delfino Airstrip. That's it. Wonderful, 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 wonderful! Now the other, all of the other shines in Delfino Plaza are the blue coins. La la la! So I will see you guys in the next episode where we will be going back to Pianta Village to get the secret shines there and then we will be getting the 100 coins and then blue coins. God, it's coming up to the end of the LP already. See you guys later! Hey guys, just real quick off camera, I know I'm holding the camera in my hand, but whatever. Just to show you, this is where the Shine Sprite will spawn if you get the 100 coins in the airstrip. You know, where that was where the um, Polluted Piranha was, where you got your first Shine Sprite. Look, 84 shines later, that's where you get your 100 coin shine, okay? Just to quickly show that off camera in case you didn't know. See you guys later.